I quit my job. Let's start with that. I quit my job. Wow. Hello, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nyasha, also known as Wenyasha, the boss babe. And I'm so excited to have you back. Wait, I'm so excited to be back on my YouTube channel and I'm excited to have you back also. It's been a minute guys and yeah, I must say I missed you. I did miss um, having um, my YouTube channel up but good thing is I'm back and what better way to be back than to come here and chill with you guys on a hair wash day. I'm sure you're wondering what the hell is going on but well, we're having a hair wash day. I just took off my braids that I had for some time, I think about three or four weeks and I will be washing my hair and deep conditioning my hair. So we're gonna be doing a catch up um, with me as well. <laughs> yeah, we'll be catching up. I'll let you catch up with me, update you on what has been going on, what has been, yeah, what has changed in my life, and so on. Mm. Right? So, yeah, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and make sure you click that notification bell so that you do not miss out on my next video. I'd love to have you um, watch it and, yeah, enjoy it as well. So, stick around. Let's get to wash. I'm going to be doing the shampoo stage off camera and then I'll come back and show you guys how I deep condition my hair and hopefully we can do a little chit chat. I'll be using the um, Maintain Organics Avocado uh, Butter Conditioner. By now guys, I'm sure you know that I love, love, love Maintain Organics products. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Maintain Organics. I really love their products. I've been using them for some time. So, yeah, I'll be using this and also a new product I left. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sure you've seen um, that I've posted about the African Hair Crown um, Nourishing Growth Butter. Uh, I'll be using this on my vlog stage. So, yeah, stick around. So, I've washed my hair. and then have a chat with you well let's see how that goes i'm trying to see if i can coordinate talking and working with my hands at the same time but well let's try it so this is the maintain organics um avocado avocado butter range um deep conditioner which i really really like so i'd advise you um to make use of deep conditioners regularly mm -hmm. especially after a protective style like in my case i had braids on for some time so you'd want to rejuvenate your hair yeah so first thing is um something that you'd want to know is where have i been i've been on instagram <laughs> <laughs> I haven't been on on YouTube for some time now. It started um, well when I took a break. It wasn't very intentional. Um, I just wanted to have a break for some time, but then I guess um, I got to relax. Let me be honest with you. I got to relax, and so instead I was waiting for probably more equipment. Um, for me to start editing and all that so it was a trap honestly it was a trap I didn't want to take this long to come back but I'm so grateful for some of you guys people who um, sent me messages checking up on me Marshall, what's going on what what 
and it got to a point where I was like, um, you know what? Let me what? Let me do it. And my husband, to be honest, uh, he gave me a lot of pressure. He never wanted me to stop um, in the first place. He didn't want me to stop. So yeah i i have i'm sorry guys let me just say i'm sorry for going out on you i don't really have um, a solid solid reason you know, to say that i mean i wouldn't want to like i don't really have a solid reason but i guess the secret yeah i want to say the secret to some of these things is to just continue doing stuff um big shout out goes to Lutendo, Pastor Lutendo, Melody um, Gambiza. Yeah, she sent some a message on Tango. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I won't tell you what it was about, but one of the things she told me was, girl, never stop. Never, never, ever stop. So it got me thinking, and yeah, here I am. Yeah. So, what has been happening, guys? Let me start with the marriage update. Uh, what has been happening is a lot has happened. My husband and I. Marriage is fun. I've been talking to a few friends of mine about um, marriage and all that. <clears throat> I've noticed that a lot of people are scared of getting married because of what society has to say. You know when someone is having a bad experience with something they can tell you that they're having a bad experience but rarely do people tell you when they're having a good experience especially when it comes to issues to do with marriage i think when i mean what you can go to a lot of times you fire you know i don't know but i think sometimes it's good to share these good stories i've been trying to share the good stories in my life and even the bad ones so that I don't look like everything is perfect for me. But as for for my marriage, it's not all rosy. Let me tell you. In terms of the, you're not going to yeah, I'm not, yeah, my husband just looked at me like woman, what are you trying to say? I mean Kuti, it's not every day that you wake up feeling great. It's not every day that you wake up feeling awesome and bubbly. So it's during those days that you really discover Kuti, what are your strength, strengths as an individual and what are your weaknesses. Just because you woke up having a bad day doesn't mean you have to spoil your partner's day. I've received messages of Kuti and you know, Michelle Mu in on the honeymoon phase, uh, wait for it, because I've been trying to convince my friends and people around me. But you know what? If someone's story is not as great, don't judge your partner. Let's say you're not yet married, or maybe you're married. Don't judge your partner. Because that's what people do, that's what men do. No. Let your story unfold. Yeah. Just because someone is not having a great day doesn't mean that you shouldn't have a great day too, isn't it? Mm. So I've been trying to share, do you know what? There are ups and downs, so, so to say. Oh, my husband keeps looking at me, Danny <laughs> There are ups and downs, but I believe that um, as an individual, you need to just choose which side you want to pick. Choose which side you want to pick. Marriage is a very beautiful thing. After all, you wanted to get um, this person to be like your partner for the rest of your life. So you're now together, you wake up next to him. That's the greatest part for me. I get to wake up next to my husband and I think I get a cool funnel because he works late into the night. He sleeps as late as um, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. doing his um, his work. He's an architect, by the way. Shout out to him. Shout out to Boo Boo. Then I... 
<laughs> you can check out his instagram page at uh, boss daddy d and also his business page for your architectural and uh, construction services at builders republic so he gets to work hard guys this man works 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 so hard so he sleeps at around um 3 a.m 4 a.m around that time and i wake up usually um six or seven uh, before going to work and he'll be so fast asleep but waking up next to him seeing him under the room, it's, it, feel, it makes me so happy it fills my day with sudden joy i usually kiss him like i don't know <laughs> i just make sure that i just kiss him like i don't know just to to appreciate him right i recently moved jobs i moved from um one company i quit my job let's start with that i quit my job and you know if you're making such a decision uh, you you'd want someone to really back you up i mean someone who told you it's okay because i really felt like i'd come to a point where i really love the company yes i did and it's like one of the best advertising agencies in sim one of the biggest advertising agencies in sim by the way i do digital marketing professionally i'm a digital strategist so um i quit my job the reason being um i wanted to grow and i felt like i'd come to a point where i wasn't growing anymore not because the company was bad not because anyone there was bad but um i believe as a person you are said to be at a specific place at a specific time so i think my time there had passed without me really realizing that it was time i leave so if you overstay you stay in a, in a particular place obviously you're gonna feel uncomfortable you're gonna feel um some type of way you yeah if you overstay you won't come <laughs> Yeah, you, you're gonna feel some type of way, not because the place is bad, not because the people are bad, but it's, I believe it's God's way of telling me to, to move. I've been in that place before, so when I got into that place, I knew what was happening. I knew that I had to leave. It was a very hard decision for me, and yeah, I got the support. I needed from my husband he was there all the way I took a break quit the job and then yeah moved on to a smaller company compared to the one that I was in it was it doesn't make sense it didn't even make sense to a lot of people who, t who knew about it it didn't make much sense but for me I believe um, God is a specific reason why I had to be I had to be in that place. What I've learned though is that um, God speaks to us in different ways. When He does speak, don't hold on to the thing that is telling you to let go. It could be a boyfriend, it could be a girlfriend, or maybe um, friends in general. So don't hold back because you never know what is giving you. Uh, the last time this happened to me, um, thank you. <laughs> um, this happened to me. I remember during my attachment period, I moved from a, a bank, a very good bank that I was um, working at. I was doing pretty well, but I felt like I was not um living up to my potential up to my fullest potential so i really wanted to move but i wasn't sure but he, does god really have a plan for me if i'm going to move you know moving from a very big company where i was getting more money and moving out to a smaller company where i was getting um way less than what i was getting um, at this other company but looking at it now 
I am sure the career path that I took was largely um, based on the experience that I got at that small company during my, my, my attachment period. I got to meet big people who were way above my, my age and pay grade and everything else. I would have never met them anywhere in life if I had not been at that place. And it has made me to cultivate relationships that I still have up to now and I'm still working on. Actually, let me just say it was a stepping stone to where I am today. So when God is telling you to let go of certain things, it might seem like he's telling you to jump off a cliff, but when you jump, you don't know whether you're going to land on rocks, whether you're going to land on a bed of flowers, a bed of roses. It's not always going to be so clear, but if he says jump, just jump. We are done officially. We are done. I had already detangled my hair during the the shampoo stage. I was using the Afro King um, shampoo. I'm sure you, I'll link the video above where I use um, Afro King products so that you guys can just check them out. I really love their products. They smell nice. They do smell amazing. And the shampoo is really thick and I think it's going to be a staple um, in, my, in my hair care collection. So when you deep condition, let's get back to hair. When you deep condition, make sure you don't forget your edges and your ends as well. So I'm just going to take um, this excess product and apply it on my, around my hair. So there we are. We are good now. I'm going to just cover my head with um, a plastic bag to shape the heat. I'm going to put my um, satin bonnet over the plastic bag. I got this um, satin bonnet from African hair crown. You can check them out on Instagram. Very lovely products. They have hair oils, shampoos, um, even beard care products. If you want to spoil your men, um, you can get beard care products also for them. So I really, really love this. It's an Ankara reversible um, bonnet. Should look pretty. It does look pretty. I'm telling you, I could even go to town and I could have this. No one would ever know could I have a bit of uh, a hair situation going on. So I'm going to just uh, this. Six and a half hours later. Look at that, guys. Oh. Your girl is growing hair like crazy. It's paying off. Is it? So I'll be trying out um, this baby here. By African Hair Crown is their hair growth butter. It promotes growth, strength, and um, sealing in moisture with all organic products. It has um, shea butter, chebe powder, chebe, chebe, chebe. I don't know that powder. 
<laughs> fenugreek seeds aloe vera powder marula oil coconut oil vitamin e oil thyme oil and rosemary oil so yeah the ingredient list is very rich so let's try it i prefer working in sections as you know but now if you follow and prove it's easier to work uh, on your hair in sections other than working on your whole hair difference you won't really give your hair the attention that it needs Oh. It does smell nice and I like that. So I'm just going to continue applying the butter onto the rest of my um, my hair and go ahead and do twist out i'll share with you um, more on the twist out on my instagram account at Renesha the boss babe please subscribe to my youtube channel and make sure to invite a girlfriend to come along more content coming soon uh then i will be featuring in more videos yes that's some great news there so yeah and yeah make sure you hit the notification bell you don't want to miss out on any of the upcoming videos so till next time don't forget to pray ace and slay always bye